Hey, Deliverance Chronicles family. <clears throat> Dr. Wayne here. Um, so last night we prayed against Molek abortion and so on and so forth. I don't know how many of you are going to watch or have seen uh, the prayer. But nevertheless, I wanted to talk about this in some, some greater detail because the video that I made yesterday, which I probably won't post, I did not talk about this and I think we need to talk about this. So at the DNC, the DNC's convention, the Democratic National Convention, there is an initiative by Planned Parenthood to um, give free abortions in vasectomy. And so as innocent as this may look to those who are not paying attention, they are empowering their convention with blood sacrifices. That is what they're doing. And I gotta ask my Christian brothers and sisters who claim to be Democrats, how are you gonna stand? Let me hear how you're gonna defend what is being promoted at this convention. How are you going to stand before God and say, God, okay, I see what's going on, but I'm not for that, but I'm for this. Instead of disavowing yourself from this organization that has no cares about children. This is the same organization that wants Billy to be able to cut off his Johnson because he's having a bad day and he feels like a girl. And wants people to change their God-given will for their lives for something else that is phony. The same people that reclassified marriage, the same people that have elected or appointed officials in office right now who are men dressed as women. And you gonna tell me, oh, let me not forget the same people that decided it was a good idea to send Megan the Stallion to woo your vote. And you're gonna tell me that you are going to stand before a righteous God and defend this wickedness. I want to tell, I want you to tell me how you're going to do it. Explain to me how you're going to do it. And don't give me the bull crap. Oh, well, the, the Republicans are no better. They're not having an abortion clinics outside of their convention. They didn't. So let me hear how you are going to defend what the Democratic Party is doing in Chicago. Hear me and hear me good. Pay attention to every city that is under de democratic governance or control. Pay attention to what's going on and what's happening in those cities. Pay attention that they're dumping the migrants in uh, the black community because what you don't realize is they're replacing your vote so that they can make sure that they stay in power and they're giving your tax dollars to these people who've never paid a penny in taxes. And tell me you're going to continue to defend the wickedness that is being advanced by this agenda. I know what you're gonna say. I already know what you're gonna say, but I'm gonna tell you right to your face, that is foolishness, utter foolishness. You cannot defend this. This is morally reprehensible, and there's nothing that you can say to make this right with God. You see, what people don't understand is judgment is it's not even coming, it's here. And do not get caught up and be classified with the wicked and be judged accordingly. We need to repent. If you have ever supported, given money, uh, pulled the lever for these people, blood is on your hands. Right? I know what you're going to say. Oh, but the Democrats, they did Republicans, da, 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 da. They don't have a mobile abortion clinic in front of their convention. They don't advance a woman's right to choose at any cause. They don't care about children. We know they're the biggest partakers of pedophilia. This is why the borders are open. We know they're the biggest partakers in child sacrifice, adrenochrome. Why do you think all of the Hollywood elites support them? Because they are in league with Molik. Go watch the video tonight from last night. Watch the video from last night pay attention and if you manifested at any time while we were praying you need deliverance
you need deliverance. I'm not saying that's the only reason you're going to manifest, but I'm saying we were specifically targeting these things. And don't for a minute say to yourself, what well, I got delivered back in 2020 or 2021. Deliverance is a journey. It is not a destination. We ought to always be getting deliverance. Deliverance should be part of your daily prayer. When Jesus taught the disciples how to pray, right? He said to deliver us from the evil one. That's deliverance. And you, that's why your money is funny. That's why your kids are out of control. That's why young black men are dying in the streets because we are in agreement with Molech. And if Molech can't get you in the womb, he's surely gonna get you in the streets. This is why all of this wickedness is happening in democratic controlled cities because it's a hit job and they need your agreement. And so when you agree with it, it not only affects you because God is a generational God and the realm of the spirit deals with generations, you are putting your children and your children's children in jeopardy. This is why we see the cycles of depravity and premature death and all kind of wickedness. We're not going to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. That's my rant for the day. I pray that you have a blessed day. Tonight we will be streaming the second part of Demonic Influences at the Olympics. Andrea Solis, one of our chief researchers, she has put together a presentation with 40 slides. A lot of information. Come with your notebooks, come with your pens. This is going to be life-changing. It's going to change your mind about a lot of things. It's going to make you aware about the things that you think are insignificant and have no impact in your life. Listen, the enemy uses deception to gain access. Let me say it again. He uses deception to gain access. Let me say it one more time for the people in the back. He uses deception to gain access. Pay attention. See you guys later.